Lab Hoppers. In this video lesson, we will learn how to write the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. What do we know about parallel lines? Well, hopefully we remember parallel lines never cross or touch. Given these three parallel lines graphed on the coordinate plane, line A, line B, and line C, each with two points identified, let's see what we can figure out about the relationship between these. What is the slope of line A? We can either use the coordinates and the slope formula and say the difference in the y coordinates is five minus three divided by the difference in the x coordinates is one minus negative three, or we could use rise over run and see that we rise up two and our run is to the right one, two, three, four, giving us a slope of positive two over four or one half. What is the slope of line B? Again, we could use the coordinates 2 minus 0 divided by 2 minus negative 2, or we can look at our rise up 1 and our run to the right 2, giving us again a slope of 1 half. And the slope of line C, let's see, we can go rise up 1, 2, run to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, and again we see that we have a slope of 2 over 4 or 1 half. From this, we can conclude that parallel lines have equal slopes. Parallel lines have the same slope. And if we think about that, it really should make sense. If parallel lines never, ever, ever touch or cross, they should rise or fall at the same rate. That would mean they would have the same slope. Now that we know parallel lines have the same slope, we can determine if two lines are parallel. Given these two lines, are they parallel? And we wanna find this out without graphing, obviously. We wanna find this out by using the fact that slopes are parallel. So we need to determine if the slopes are equal. And to do that, I wanna use the easiest form for identifying slope. And the easiest form for identifying slope, slope intercept form, otherwise known as y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to put both equations in slope intercept form, identify the slopes, and if they're equal, the lines are parallel. Given these equations, one of them is already thankfully in slope intercept form. I can clearly see the slope is one half. So m equals one half for my first line. If my second line has a slope of one half, we are in business, they are parallel. However, it is not in slope intercept form. So let's do some work. If I wanna put something in slope intercept form, it essentially means solving for y, right? You need a y equals. So we have to take care of the negative x. We wanna move negative x from the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. Anytime you wanna do, anytime you wanna move something from one side of the equation to the other, you use the opposite operation. The opposite of negative x is positive x, so we will add x to both sides. See that two y equals x plus two. Y is still not by itself. We have a two that is multiplied to it. The opposite of multiplying by two is dividing by two. Divide every single term by two. We will get y equals one half x plus one. You may be wondering how I got one half x because I had x divided by two up here or x over two. Remember that x over two is one times x divided by two. This really could be rewritten as one half times x over one or one half x giving me a slope of one half, which is exactly what I needed for them to be parallel. So since the slopes are the same, the lines are parallel. What do we know about perpendicular lines? Hopefully we remember from geometry that perpendicular lines cross and form 90 degree angles. Given two lines, line A and line B, that are graphed on this coordinate grid that are perpendicular, let's do the same thing. Let's look at the slopes and see if we can figure out what the relationship between perpendicular lines is. So what is the slope of line A? Given that the points for line A are super nice, I'll just do this one using the slope formula. 0, 4, 2, 0. Difference in Y is 4 minus 0. Difference in X is 0 minus 2. Giving me a slope of 4 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 2, or 4 divided by negative 2, or just negative 2. All right, so the slope of line A is negative 2. I guarantee the slope of line B is not negative anything because it is a positive sloping line, but let's look at the slope of line B. Again, given the points, we will do two minus zero divided by two minus negative two and see that the slope is two over four or one half. Okay, so they're not the same. One slope is negative, 
one slope is positive, one slope is two, one slope is one half. What is the relationship between the numbers two and one half? If you remember from elementary school days, they are reciprocals of one another, right? Some people call them flips of one another. They're reciprocals. When you multiply reciprocals, you get a product of one. Well, these are opposite reciprocals. So one and negative two are opposite reciprocals, meaning if you multiply them, you get a product of negative one. And perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Knowing that relationship, we can now determine if lines are perpendicular. Given that information, are these lines perpendicular? We're gonna do the same exact thing that we did for parallel lines. We're just gonna look for a different relationship. To determine if two lines are perpendicular, you wanna determine if the slopes are opposite reciprocals. So, I need a form of an equation that is easiest to identify slope. Once again, y equals mx plus b to the rescue. I will put each equation in slope intercept form and determine if the slopes are opposites and reciprocals. So they have to have opposite signs and be reciprocals of one another. And once again, I have one equation that is already in slope intercept form and I could easily see the slope is two thirds. So for that equation, I have m equals two thirds. For the next equation, I have a little work to do. I have to solve for y. So I have a six x right here that I wanna move from the left side to the right side. In order to do that, the opposite of positive six is negative six. So subtract six from both sides of the equation gives me 4y equals negative 6x minus 4. y is still not by itself. I have a 4 that's multiplied, so I am going to divide every term by 4. Doing that, I see that I get y equals negative 3 halves x minus 1. I realize that I really got negative 6 fourths, but we need to simplify. Negative 6 fourths is equal to negative 3 halves, so my equation is y equals negative 3 halves x minus 1 giving me a slope of negative 3 halves. Now let's look at our slopes. We have a positive, we have a negative. So far, so good. We have 2 thirds, we have 3 halves. They are reciprocals of one another. Since the slopes are opposite reciprocals, the lines are perpendicular. All right, the last set of questions are the kind that usually give us the most problems. They want us to write the equation of a line that passes through a point, 6, negative 4, and is parallel to the line y equals 1 half x minus 3. When you see these equations, or when you see these problems, they are essentially asking you to write the equation of a line through a given point with a given slope. I know it doesn't look like they've given you a slope, but they really have, because they've told you the line we want to write is parallel to this line right here. So given the slope and a point, we're going to use point-slope form. Again, you might be thinking, they haven't given me a slope. They really have. Parallel to the line y equals 1 half x minus 3, the slope will be 1 half. So consider the fact that they have given you the point 6, negative 4, and a slope of 1 half. Given that information, we will use point-slope form. Point-slope form is simply a rearrangement of the slope formula. y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Remember that y sub 1 and x sub 1 are simply the coordinates, the x and y coordinates of the point you're given, and x and y are the variables. Those will stay variables. Okay. So the point is 6, negative 4, giving us x sub 1 of 6 because that's our x coordinate, giving us a y sub 1 of negative 4 because that's the y coordinate. And since parallel lines have equal slopes, given the equation y equals 1 half x minus 3, I know the slope of my line is going to be 1 half because it has to be equal to the slope of the line given, which is 1 half. So I now have x sub 1, y sub 1, and m. x sub 1 is 6, y sub 1 is negative 4, m is 1 half. Pop them all into the point slope form. That is the beauty of the point slope form. Once you have a point and a slope, all you have to do is pop stuff in. Now we have y minus negative 4. Remember, if you have a negative, y minus a negative, we're going to have to change this. y minus negative 4 equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 6. Let's not leave a double negative. y minus negative 4 is y plus 4. So we get y plus 4 equals 1 half x minus 6. You are done. This is the answer to that question. However, people have emailed and said, well, we have to write them in slope-intercept form. 
If you have to write it in slope intercept form, we simply take the equation we got and we solve for y. That starts by distributing the slope. And I know the slope is a fraction. It's not great, but it's not terrible. If we distribute 1 half, 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times negative 6. 1 half of 6 is 3. 1 half times negative 6 is negative 3. We get y plus 4 equals 1 half x minus 3. Still have to get rid of this 4. The opposite of adding 4 or the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. So we will subtract 4 from both sides and we get y equals 1 half x minus 7. Done. We've done it twice now. All right. The question that's likely to show up on the midterm or the final exam is the equation that passes through a point and is perpendicular to a line because they know you know the parallel lines have equal slopes, but perpendicular lines, you have to think a little bit. You have to remember that they have to be opposite and reciprocals. So we want to write the equation that passes through the same point, but is perpendicular to that equation we just worked with. So perpendicular to the line y equals 1 half x minus 3 means my slope will be opposite sign, so negative. Reciprocal of 1 half, 2. So my slope will be negative 2. I have still been given a slope and a point. Understanding that, I'm going to use point slope form again. So the point 6, negative 4 gives us x sub 1 of 6 because that's our x coordinate, y sub 1 of negative 4 because that's our y coordinate. And now we have to do a little bit of thinking. Perpendicular lines are lines that have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. They gave me this line, y equals 1 half x minus 3. 1 half x minus 3 has a slope of 1 half. The opposite reciprocal of 1 half is negative 2. Now I have x sub 1, y sub 1, and m. I can just pop it into the point slope form. Again, let's not leave y minus negative 4 there. That's not great. Let's write y plus 4 equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 6. I'm done. I would turn this in. However, if you have a hard rule of you have to write this in slope intercept form, let's just solve for y. Once again, start by distributing that slope. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. We get y plus 4 equals negative 2x plus 12. Get rid of the pesky 4 that's on the left side with y. Opposite of 4 is negative 4. Subtract 4 from both sides. We get y equals negative 2x plus 8. Once again, we are done and we have written it in slope intercept form. If you still have questions, you should be subscribed to our YouTube channel. We'll make a custom video for you and then you'll be good to go. Till next time, math hoppers, take it easy.